Hi friends, Leela Gonzalez, author of The Reinvented Woman, founder of LeelaGonzalez.com, and, and I'm here today to chat to you about uh, standing in your power. I'm at a, I was just, I just got home from an event, a whole day event about learning how to craft a, a, a speech from stage, so I can speak more and more from stage, um, how to craft a speech that's very valuable for my audience, but um, at one of the breaks, the gentleman who's running the event for the weekend came up to me and he said this. He goes, I see your power. He goes, and I see that when you stand in your power, there are going to be people who think you're a bitch. He goes, I can see that in you already. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, I've experienced that. How about you? Have any of you guys experienced that when you stand in your power? Somebody thinks you're a bitch. Somebody thinks you're not nice. Somebody thinks you're something that doesn't feel good. Yeah, they're going to. Uh, what, what John Block said to me, he said, stand in your power. Don't give in. If you believe, stand in your power. Even if people don't like you, even if they don't, they don't agree with what you say, even if they think you're a bitch, they're going to. If you stand in your power, you stand in your beliefs, you stand up for what you believe in, even if it doesn't align with what somebody else thinks, that's okay. That's what we're that's what we're here to do more and more and more. So um, I think that some of us in this world stand in our power. We may not have that kind of that that energy that comes across. But I know my I know myself and I want you to know yourself, whatever that is, whatever. What does it look like when you stand in your true power? When I stand in my true power, sometimes I mean, what John Block said to me, he goes, the right people are going to be attracted to you. But sometimes there's going to be people who are going to think you're a bitch. Right. And same with you. The right people like you, if you're in this group right now. You're the people who probably resonate with what I say. Like what I say kind of makes sense to you on some level, or you think something similar, maybe sometimes, <laughs> probably more often than not. Otherwise, hopefully you wouldn't be here. You would be somewhere else where you, you know, around your, the, the, the ideas that, that make more sense to you. Um, but what it is, it's like the stronger we get, and I'm feeling it in my own life, the stronger that I get, the more authentic that I feel, the more me, the more me, the more me that I feel. I attract so many amazing people. So many amazing people are in my life right now. I can't believe it. I mean, you guys, everybody in 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 uh, in Colorado, back in Ohio, all over the world. I mean, it's just so unreal. This this internet thing, how it's been, you know, connecting us too. It's just fascinating how how uh, I can build relationships with people all around the world with this amazing tool. I'm just, I, I, I can go on and on about it. But the point is, is the more and more, and even with my clients, the more that they step into their power, the more they um, realize their self-worth, realize what they believe in. Uh, are you unsure about your self-worth? Are you unsure about what you actually believe in? Um, I know I've been in the past uh, quite, and still working on it, quite confused about like, what do I believe in? I was in relationships for years and I just kind of went along with everybody else. And so it's been, you know, a process to figure out like, what do I believe in? What do I stand for? What, where is my power? <laughs> what does it mean to even stand in my power? What does it mean to stand in your power? And so I just want you to know when you do stand in your power and other people don't like it, that's okay. Rejection is a form of protection. So if you stand in your power and, and you know, if you're like, what does that even mean standing in my power? You know, we, we, that, that, that's a good question to even ask. But if you already do know, and I, I know sometimes and sometimes I don't, but most of the time I, I know what, I know how to listen to my body is what it is. That's what I teach people is how to listen to your body and know if you're actually standing in your truth or standing in your power or worried about what somebody else thinks about you and feeling kind of insecure or not. And I just listen to my body now. And I, I mean, my body tells me often if, if, if my thoughts don't feel good and then and then I can kind of notice the thoughts and notice like, wait a minute, those thoughts don't really feel good. So what are some thoughts that actually uh, are more true or feel better? Um, yeah, I just was really super inspired by by somebody pulling me aside in the middle you know, of this event, the, the leader of it, and saying, I, I see you, I see your power, and I see that there's going to be times when people are going to think you're a bitch. I was like, whoa, <laughs> you know? kind of hard. I don't know, it wasn't hard to hear. I want to say it's hard to hear. It wasn't. I know that I know this. And and it's because I stand so I I think a big reason is because I stand very strongly in my beliefs 
often because there, you'll hear things. And I, I mean, I, I still do it. We like, I'll agree with somebody. Oh yeah. Even though I don't really agree. Cause I just want to be agreeable and I don't even realize I'm doing it. And so I've, I've worked on like, you know, I go to all sorts of things and sometimes people say stuff and I don't agree. And, and I'm not going to, it's not like I have to like argue, but I'm not going to go along with something anymore that I don't believe in. Like, that's just, I'm just going to be real. I'm not going to go along with something. Um, I might for a while and then I'll protect myself and then not, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to ride the wave with everybody else. Just be real. Many of you here are like that. I don't know how many about you, how many of you are little rebels, a little, um, a little against the grain. You're not riding the wave with everybody else. You're kind of creating your own, creating your own, uh, a line of, line of fun. We'll say line of excitement. Um, and, and I think that's, that's how we can kind of come across looking as a bitch. If we don't align with what everybody else says, we're somehow different, and therefore we should be diminished, right? No, screw that. New ideas, different ideas. That's how the world grows. That's how we evolve. And I'm, I, and I'm not saying I'm like different than everybody else. I'm just like you guys. I'm not. I'm not. I don't, I don't have anything, any other crazier, or wild, or more visionary ideas than you. I just choose to uh, uh, speak them. I just choose to stand in them. I just choose to not agree when somebody's saying something that doesn't align with what I think. And I think it's totally cool that everybody else thinks I'm different um, if they want to, uh, but I'm not going to think it. And if they want help, I'll help them think something different if they want to, but uh, if they want to feel better or something, but um, standing in your power. Yeah. It's, it ain't easy. Let's just be real there too. Standing in your power isn't easy. We've been told since our kids, like, don't do that, do this, don't do that, do that you know, from our mentors, from our parents, from our teachers, everybody's telling us what to do, what not to do. And we got to figure out what the hell we're supposed to do ourselves. And then we get into adulthood and then we, you know, we're told we're got to get this job and that job and pay for this, pay for that and do this and do that. And then we're like, what? That doesn't feel very powerful. How do I stand in my power? And so just know that there's going to be times where you got to stand in your power and it's going to look different than everybody else. You're not going to, you know, be wearing the same clothes. Maybe standing in your power is just wearing whatever you want to wear. Uh, maybe standing in your power is, is speaking to somebody, telling them when they hurt your feelings or when your feelings are hurt by something they did, let's say. Um, uh, stand in your power by, by speaking what you believe. You know, I teach this, what I call, you know, I used to call it weird yoga. Uh, I teach a yoga that's like outside of the normal yoga box. I don't, um, I don't know. There's just a lot of stuff in the yoga world too that I don't. Just, I just don't align with. It just doesn't resonate with me. I don't agree with it. Not, not agree. It's fine. It's just not my way. And so um, with that said, for a couple of years, I was doing this curvy, bouncy, weird yoga and, and kind of like, you know, trying to tell people about it, but not, but having a hard time because people would kind of go against it or I wouldn't be telling the right people or I wouldn't know what I was saying. So I wasn't really standing my power with even my yoga practice. I wasn't really like was trying but I wasn't quite there. And I don't, you know, in the past year or so, what's shifted for me is like, I know this is good stuff for me, for my people that want to learn it, for all the people who want to learn it. Not for everybody. Not anybody's not ready. You know, I don't talk to closed ears. I only talk to open ears. That's what I learned too. I only talk to open ears. There's no point in talking to closed ears. That's powerful. You know, standing in your power also means not talking sometimes. Don't tell the haters your shit. They don't need to know it. You don't need to argue with them, right? So, like I said, this weird thing that I had that I believe in, I believe this kind of yoga that I'm teaching, and I believe that even bringing, here's a good one, I believe that bringing business, bringing money into the yoga world is actually going to help people. Uh, there's some things that I think and I talk about that not everybody's okay with, and I didn't used to, and I just felt so uncomfortable. I felt so unseen. Um, I felt like a failure. I felt stupid. And then, and then once I started speaking my beliefs, just standing in them, like, I know this, all of a sudden, like my relationship, relationship started popping. I didn't feel so insecure. I'm happier. I'm more playful. Um, and the right people are attracted to me and the wrong people, I don't want to say right or wrong. There's no right or wrong people, but the right people who are supposed to be in my life at that time are with me. And then the people who aren't, they don't, they're no longer there. So, um, I just want to encourage you. To know that if you're standing in your power and you're looking like a bitch, good. 
That means you're standing in your power, perhaps. You want to be nice, of course. You don't want to be you know, mean and all that kind of stuff. We don't, we don't play that game. Well, we don't play that mean game. We only be nice. But um, nice to yourself first. Nice to yourself first. Nice to yourself first. If somebody doesn't believe what you say, somebody doesn't stand where you are, that's okay. You don't need to argue with them or anything. Just let them, let them be. Stand in your belief, though. Don't, don't diminish yourself by any means uh, uh, just because somebody else thinks you're not, not what they want you to be. All right? I've gone on and on and on. I think I've said basically the same thing in a different way probably 20 times. <laughs> stand in your power. Believe in yourself. Screw the haters. Sorry, haters. We've all hate. I've been a hater before. You've been a hater before, haven't you? Uh -huh. yeah. I've went up two before. Whoops. I continue to everyone, so I catch myself dissing someone. I'm like, oh, don't do that. There's no need. We're all on this. We're all on this planet together. We're all in this human experience. Let's try to stand in our own power. When you stand in your power, you show somebody else that they can too. Even that person who might think you're kind of bitchy, maybe you standing in your power, you staying standing in your belief system. Will help that person actually see a new way stand in their power how cool would that be so we make the world better and better and better <laughs> i love you guys reinvent yourselves every day know that every person you meet is new they weren't what they used to be you every day new every moment new weren't what you used to be stand in your power i love you namaste namaste Blessings.